Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are making banana nut bread. Nothing like homemade banana nut bread. And let me give you guys the ingredients. It is for your banana bread, well, for my banana bread, I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, five bananas, two cups of flour, one cup of butter, two eggs, cup of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking soda or powder, and one cup of walnuts. I've got it all written down here for you guys. It's a little written on a piece of paper. You guys can see that's one cup of sugar. If you guys want to take a screenshot of that, I think I'll probably leave it down in the description box too. So, um, yeah, I might if I forget. Just in case I forget, you guys, I already gave you my little recipe. All right, guys, so let's get to making this banana nut bread. Uh, first thing I'm doing, guys, is mashing up my bananas. As you guys can see, mashing my bananas up. Let me get those all completed and mashed up. And I've got like a little, like a potato, you know, the um, mashed potato thing that you make mashed potatoes out of. A little smasher. So, I'm using that to smash my bananas down. Now, we want to get this all smashed down. Let me make sure you guys can see. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. Okay. And we want to get these smashed down into, like, liquid form. Like, we really want to get them all smashed down real good. So. All right. You know bananas. They get all mushy. Just want to get it all smashed down. And this is the best thing to use to smash your potatoes. I mean, potatoes to uh, smash your bananas. So, and it gets the job done quickly. You know, kind of like mix it up. And these bananas smell so good. Want to get it all smashed up real good, guys. gonna look like a liquid that's how you want it to look so smash it smash it smash the bananas stir it around but get those big chunks all smashed up all right guys I will be right back okay guys sorry about that all right phone ringing anyway so all right so I've got my bananas all smashed up so let's put in our two eggs and to crack in our two eggs here I like to crack my eggs to the side and something else because sometimes I crack my eggs and shells get in there. Yep, it happens. So I'm adding my two eggs to my banana mix. All right, and my butter. Let me make sure with my butter. Yep, my one cup of butter. And I'm going to be using my, um, can't believe it's not butter. It's a, a spray, but you know, it's butter. So, all right, let me make sure. Okay, so we've got our bananas all smashed. Uh, one cup of butter. Right, one cup of butter there. All right, let's see what we need to do next. Okay, so we've got our two eggs in our banana mix. We've got uh, butter, our one cup of butter. All right, and then we've got to add the sugar, one cup of sugar. You guys can add more sugar if you want to make it sweeter. Um, I don't like adding too much sugar. I mean, one cup, you know, makes it sweet enough. One cup makes it sweet enough, guys. So, I mean, but that's up to you. Um, I wouldn't add too much sugar. You don't want to make it too heavy where it doesn't rise, you know. You don't want your banana bread to not rise. So, you don't want to put too much sugar in there. So, I suggest you just do the one cup. You just do that one cup of sugar. You can do half a cup. You can do a half a cup if you don't want that much sugar. And remember, you can always do a sugar substitute. 
All right, so one cup of sugar. And as you guys can see, that's that's because I want it to be sweet, but not too sweet. But, you know, I don't want my banana bread to be bland either. So, all right, one cup of sugar. All right. Let's get that mixed up. Get my fork here and get that all mixed up. Right, so we've got our bananas, one cup of sugar, one cup of butter. This is your wet mix. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, you guys can see real good. This is your wet mix. This is what we call the wet mix. And then, of course, the flour, the baking powder, um, our baking soda, whatever you have, and um, the salt. Those are considered our dry mixes. And then, of course, you know, you add the wet mix to the dry mix. Y'all know how it goes if you've been cooking. So, I'm getting this all mixed up real good. Yep, you guys can see. Getting my eggs and sugar and bananas all mixed up. Letting everybody meet and greet. Meet and greet. Everybody's getting along. Meet and greet, everybody. All right. That smells nice and sweet. Can't wait to eat this banana bread. All right, so we got that all mixed up. Let me get my fork washed off. Let's see here. Get that back in the butter. All right, guys, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna get our dry mix together. Make sure you guys can see, yep. All right, let's get this dry mix together. Wash my hands. Wash, wash, wash. I will wash my hands to death. All right, so in a separate bowl, in a separate bowl, we will do our dry mix. All right, so in a separate bowl, we're going to do two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Let's get the flour together. All right. We've got one cup of flour. All right, and let's do two cups of flour. All right, okay. So we've got two cups of flour. All right, let's see, two cups of flour. We're going to add one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking soda. That's what we're doing. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right. All right, guys, okay. Got a little flour on the floor here. Sometimes it can get a little mixy. Okay, so one tablespoon, we got two cups of flour, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking soda. All right, now I've got my tablespoon here. We've got our baking soda. One tablespoon of baking soda. And let's get the one tablespoon of salt. Let me get that together. Let's get our salt together. All right, and now one tablespoon of salt. All right, let's get all of that in the sink. All of that. All right, guys. So, let's get our dry mixes mixed all up. Let's get these all mixed all up real good, guys. I use my fork. You guys know how I do. I am old school. I will use a fork instead of a mixture. I just think it's easier that way. And I also think it's less less of a cleanup too. But I, I just like using my fork. I mix it real well. And my food comes out just fine with a fork. You don't have to have a mixer. All right, make sure I get this all mixed up real good. Get that powder off the side, the flour off the side. Make sure everything get mixed up, your bottom bottom of your flour getting mixed up good too so I just kind of lean my bowl to the side sometimes 
and just scrape the flour from the side to make sure that gets mixed up real good. I just kind of rotate my bowl. But yeah, you want to make sure this is getting mixed up real good, guys. Make sure everything's getting mixed up. Mix, mix, mix. All right. All right, you guys can see that. All right, make sure you guys can see. Okay, so we got all our dry mixes mixed all together. Mixed up all nice and fine. Yada, yada, yada. Yep, all mixed up. Okay. Dry mix all mixed up. Okay, so we've got our wet mix and our dry mix all mixed up. Okay, so now, whew, the bowl of banana. Our bananas, let's get that mixed back over here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add the nuts. Let's add our nuts. I just got some regular Publix walnuts. You guys see here? Like, you know, little walnut pieces. Just crunched up walnut pieces. So, I've got about a cup in here. So, I'm adding the nuts to my mix. And I crushed them up a little bit more just to make them smaller. They were a little too big for me. They were like the walnut halves, and I just crushed them up. And I want my banana bread full of nuts. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I want it full of nuts. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that looks good. Y'all know me. I'm ready to eat right now. Always ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. I told y'all. All right, so... We got that all mixed up. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. So now let's see what we need to do next. I've already got my oven preheated. 350 degrees, guys. 350 degrees. We're going to bake this for an hour. Remember that. 350 degrees. We're baking it for an hour. All right. So let's add the flour to our wet mix. So we're going to slowly add the flour to our wet mix. All right, guys. Hold on one minute. My phone's ringing. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys. All right. Where were we? Oh, all right. So let's get our dry mix uh, mixed into our eggs. You know what? This bowl's bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour the, uh, the wet mix in the flour. Either way, it don't matter. Dry mix to the wet mix. You're just mixing them all together anyway. Whatever. Just pour your wet mix in there. Get all of my stuff. Get all of my nuts. Yes. Just mixing this together. That's what we doing, child. Wet mix to dry mix. Dry mix to wet mix. So either way, let me zoom y'all in. Because I like for y'all to see what's going on. Okay, so. Get this all mixed up. We're going to get it in our pan. Don't forget, guys, 350 degrees for an hour. For an hour. That's what I like about banana bread. It's so good, but you know what? It's slow cooking. So I'll go ahead and put this banana bread in the oven and put my timer on for an hour, and I'll go do something else. I'll go clean. I'll go do, you know. Y'all know, us women, we always got something to do always something we need to do so get this all mixed up mm -hmm. oh it looks so good it smells so good just smells like sweet bananas and nuts all oh, nutty look at that guys yes make sure you get your bottom all scraped up y'all know how i tell you make sure you're scraping that bottom okay make sure y'all can see Got our mix all nicely mixed up. Ooh, I cannot wait to eat the banana nut bread. The banana nut bread is going to be good. Alright, I think we got that all mixed up enough. Because my hand's starting to get tired. Okay, alright y'all. That's all mixed up enough. Okay, let's move this stuff out of the way so I can get my cooking pan in here. 
so y'all can see what I am using. My little, my little pan, my banana nut pan. All right, so make sure you guys, let me get my spray. You want to spray it because you want to make sure it doesn't stick to your pan. So I'm going to spray this. You spray your sides, all of that. Spray all of that. Spray all of that. So, all right, we gotta spray it real good. That ain't nothing sticking. That ain't nothing gonna stick. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get everything scraped into our pan. All right, we just gonna pour it in, guys. Ooh, this gonna be a thick banana bread. It's gonna be a thick girl. Yes. Oh boy. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Look at those nuts. This gonna be good. Yep, I'm pouring it all in this one pan. It's gonna be a big old banana nut bread. Banana bread. Yep, that's what it's gonna be. All right, guys. Y'all see, it's all ready. Pat my pan around, make sure everything's all nice and even in there. All right, I don't want to shake it too much because you don't want your nuts to all settle down to the bottom. So you don't want to shake it too much. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead, get it in the oven, 350 degrees for an hour. And when I come back, y'all, y'all will see it. Y'all will see me bringing it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. All right. Bye. Okay guys, we are back. I just took the banana nut bread out of the oven. It is fresh and hot. And of course, I'm taking y'all in. Ooh, look at the banana nut bread. The whole house smells like bananas. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Y'all definitely gotta try my little recipe. So, all right guys, you seen me do it? So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. All right, guys. Bye.